So one of the questions I get asked a lot is, Director of Cannabis, you must be over everything cannabis in the state of Florida, and that's not um, my role. As Director of Cannabis, I aid and assist the medical marijuana program, which is overseen by the Department of Health, with a few things. As a sister organization, that's what we're here to do to help them. So kind of where we are for the state of medical marijuana in Florida is we have a system that's up and going where you can get a medical card. Then we are in the process of getting edibles rolled out. So edibles will be made in a kitchen and food safety falls up under the Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. So that's why I'm involved in the edibles portion. We have our rules done and written and our commissioner assigned our portion of the rules for medical marijuana edibles. We're waiting on the Department of Health. They have their rules done. They're getting ready to host workshops, which allow the public to come in and make comments, review what they've done, and then I believe their rules will be finished. So I believe we're very close to having edibles available for patients in the state of Florida, which is a priority for our commissioner and our group. One of the things that you also need to know is on April 4th, the Food Safety Group will be having a workshop here in Orlando for anybody who would like to come learn about the standards from the food safety side of it that will be required for making edibles in the state of Florida. And I think we've all heard and known that there are 14 currently licensed medical marijuana treatment centers or frequently called MMTCs, and no further licenses have been issued to grow. And in the state of Florida, the statute requires that if you have one of those licenses to grow, you also must be the person that processes it, manufactures it, and distributes it through a dispensary. So we have vertical integration currently in the state of Florida. So those 14 MMTC license holders do all of that in the state of Florida. They're allowed to open dispensaries anywhere in the state. So you can apply for a license, but currently the Department of Health is not taking applications to my knowledge, nor have they issued additional licenses. We are at about 200,000 patients with medical marijuana cards and there is a ratio in the statute that allows them to issue more licenses. So I think we're going to see some of that moving forward.